Animals have many lessons to teach, if we're willing to listen. A man sat alone on Valentine's Day, pondering patience. With a broken heart and a restless mind, he was anywhere but here. Asking the one word question that rings and rings and burns and stings. Why? Sometimes when we sit long enough, Magic happens. Valentino seemed to appear out of nowhere. The man's chattering mind fell quiet as he watched Valentino come in his home. The man admired Valentino's courage, his daring. The man remained still so he wouldn't scare him. Valentino looked at his first paintings ever, I think. Valentino made his way around the man's home as if it was his own. And as quickly as he appeared, he was gone. What flew in his house and flew in his life that day became more than just a bird. The man's lessons from animals began as a child and have never stopped. Like the time he was moving out of his apartment, he had called home for 17 years. The thought and act of moving was a three-year process, in which time a lizard began to appear. The lizard would look at him with wise eyes before running and hiding into the unknown of the apartment. He did not yet know why the lizard had chosen him until the day came when he said goodbye to his cocoon of nearly two decades. On his way out, the last thing he picked up was a piece of Indian fabric and something fell from it. The lesson of the lizard, his old skin. The lizard's lesson of impermanence and change rang deep. And like the time he was running and almost stepped on something as small as a bottle cap, a newborn turtle hiding in her shell, so small that she must just hatched yesterday. In her short time here, she lost her way and ended up all dried up in the middle of the path where people run and walk their dogs. He too felt lost, stuck. Like his life was not moving at the speed or in the direction he had wanted. He too has a tendency to retreat in his shell and hide when this happens. It was then he was reminded of the people in his life who came to his aid in times like these. A feeling of gratitude and comfort then filled him and his day. An open door and an offering of pine nuts. A delicacy, even by human standards. These seem to bring Valentino back every day. He navigates himself with grace and precision around the strange place. With his sharp and delicate talons, he makes music atop the man's drums. The man captures his admiration in a painting, and then another, and another and another, and another, and then another. The man puts pine nuts on one of the paintings and lies it flat on the table in hope Valentino will infuse some of his bird energy into it. He did indeed. He shit on it. 
To this day, the man still doesn't know if this was a form of collaboration or critique. Valentino did, however, seem to admire the finished painting in the days that followed. The man pondered possibility. He wondered if it was possible for Valentino to eat from his hand. Not in an attempt to tame his wild winged friend, but rather to feel real trust again. To be trusted. Valentino had been close enough to this man to feel his calm, but she had not been. She sat outside on watch. And so when she called, he was gone again. No matter. For every day Valentino returned, and every day the man sat still with a handful of Valentino's favorite treats. As still as this man was, Valentino knew his hand was not an an animate object. The man admired Valentino's intelligence, the fact that he could remember up to 200 stash spots. One of the few beans that had the gift of thinking ahead. He sat day Day after after day day after after day day after after day day after day 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 for a month. The man's waiting became his meditation. It was in these times he was reminded what he needed more of in his life when Valentino appeared. Patience. Valentino would get close, close, closer, until almost. The man so enjoyed his new friendship that any and all attachment to Valentino eating from his hand had disappeared. Staying grateful for the present moment, non-attachment. Well, we all know what happened next. He did, he did it. it! He ate from his hand. It was fast. It was one. And then one more. Satisfaction. Everything made sense again. The man was realigned with the journey being it. Not the destination. For there is no destination. We are only ever here together, in it together. After that level of trust had been reached, the man noticed Valentino staying in the house much longer with each visit. Valentino and his love even took to the man's deck for sunbathing. He's not dead, he's just relaxing. The man and Valentino even came up with tricks together. One more, one more time. It's now been many months since Valentino first arrived. Time still stopped for the man each visit. This unlikely friendship taught the man many lessons of burned magic. And once again, patience, trust, and the moment. This very moment have returned to the man's life. Why did you even want to record my voice? Are you serious? You got a great voice.